Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how you can resolve this blue screen of death uh, you might be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Um, the error you'll get is here is shown here, bad pull header. Uh, this error is typically shown because there's an issue with either a driver on your system, a device driver, or there's some sort of problem with a system file. Now there'll be two scenarios that you get this problem. Either you get it as soon as you turn on your machine, um, it won't even boot to your desktop, it will show you this blue screen straight away. Or you might be able to get it to your desktop and it just randomly crashes when you're, when you're doing certain things. Now I'm going to go through the scenario if you can boot to your desktop. So the first thing I would recommend you to do is to update all of your device drivers. So if you click on your start menu, and if you type in device and load this device manager if you go through and update as many drivers as you can um, I'd recommend doing display drivers and the network drivers because those are usually the main culprits uh, what you do is you select your driver so you go to the drivers tab update driver now typically you'd go to the internet and you'll type in the model of your PC uh, go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest driver download it to your machine and then what you normally do is do browse and then browse to where you downloaded it to and load the latest driver so if you do that first and the second thing to do is if you click on the start menu type in CMD uh, right click run as administrator click yes and type in chkdsk c colon forward slash f forward slash r now it's not, not going to be able to run this straight away so if you just click y hit enter then if you restart your machine it's going to run this scan uh, what this scan will do is it checks um, your system files for any corruptions and bad sectors and it re will recover them. Uh, so if you try that first, reboot your machine, let the system scan run and hopefully it will resolve the issue. Now I'm going to run through the second scenario. So what you need to do is you need to put the Windows 10 install DVD into your machine and reboot your machine. If you don't have your Windows 10 DVD CD, what you can do is you can actually download, I'll, I'll post this link in the description of the video, but what you need to do is you need to come to here and you need to download either 32-bit or 64-bit, whatever your machine is. Uh, this is actually a Microsoft tool. I'm just going to run it for you so you can see what to do. So what we're going to be doing with this tool is we're going to be creating a bootable USB drive. So if you put a USB drive into your machine, uh, then run this tool, follow the prompt. So we want to create installation media. Next, if you select your language, so I'm in the UK, I've got 64 bit. And if you select USB drive here, I don't have a USB drive in, but if you just click your USB drive, click next and finish, it will create um, USB drive install media. So if you put that into your machine after you've created it and reboot your machine, so I'm just going to uh, reboot my machine here. You'll get prompted here to press any key, so press any key it will now boot into the recovery program that we can use to fix this issue okay so if you get this up click no uh, select your language and region I'm just going to leave it on the United States click here repair your computer uh, troubleshoot advanced options now click on command prompt 
<clears throat> again we'll see this black screen if you type in chk dsk c colon forward slash f forward slash r it's now going to perform the scan you can see there it's completed uh, quite quickly uh, it doesn't look like it's found any issues here so let's close this application okay so once that scans finished if you reboot your machine see if it boots into windows if you get the blue screen again just come into this um, menu click on troubleshoot again advanced options start up repair if you run that program that is then going to scan your uh, windows startup files and it's going to fix any issues that it finds so run that application let it finish, reboot your machine, hopefully it will get to the desktop. If it doesn't, again boot to this screen. Uh, click if you type on in command this prompt, S F C type in F A C slash scan scan now. If you hit enter S F C that is then gonna run another scan forward slash scan now. Sorry, S FC. Now this is going to perform another scan that checks your um, operating system files for any errors. If it finds errors it will fix it. And then when this scan is finished again reboot your machine and it should boot to the desktop. Thanks for watching the video guys I hope this helps you. If you have any questions please post them in a comment below and I'll make sure to help you. Thanks a lot.